Acadians assemble. Uh, Good to see everybody back again. Nobody's in their cars today. We're all here uh, in I our know. game spaces. So, yeah. Brad, I have I have your cup here, right here. You got the. Of course, oh. you can buy these on the uh, the merch store. Sweet. Papa Brad's game. We'll have cup. a link to that. And and of course, what I'm gonna have to drink tonight to go in it is some space coke. So I'm gonna pour that in my little cup here. You got yeah. some space coke. It's got oh, some space coke. Tastes, tastes like this space. Oh, it's red. I was not expecting that. Wow. I was not expecting it to be red. That's it interesting. Didn't... What's okay. up, Top Four? We see you. There we go. <laughs> Hello, Punk Rock Dave, Mitchell B, Made in Canada, to die for. Welcome Cheers. to the Arcadians. <sighs> wow, we got. Look at these comments flooding in, flooding in. I can't even keep up with this. What do we? What do we? Man, we look at these. We got Punk Rock Dave, Mitchell B, Made in Canada to Die For, Brooklyn, Brooklyn Menace, Tim's Tiny Arcade, J Dash P Blix says, "You got this." And look, look at this background. It's gems. Oh. See. Oh, it's talking so about gems today. Talking yeah. about talking hidden about gems, gems today. Hidden gems. So, I tell you Find what. Us some treasure. The I arcade is like we said it's king of the shmups, but I I would make the argument it could also be king of the hidden gems. Absolutely, oh, I didn't think about right. that. That's good. Yeah, there's a lot of hidden gems on Absolutely. the system, uh, and we're gonna kind of show some. I didn't even like I, I did a little clip thing with like I don't know nine or ten of them, but there's way more than that on this system. You could just go on forever with all these hidden gems. Good stuff. Sup, Arcadian's heart. Adam C Caleb. Yo, 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 it's Arcadian time. Space Coke, and you don't have to go to Tim's space. Tim's Tiny Arcade. I know. We love Tim's totally Tiny Arcade. That's awesome. Go check him out. Give him a sub. Awesome channel. All right. Well, guys, what's been happening this week? We got some new games. I've got all three of them. I'm loving them all. <laughs> Truxton 2, Oil's Well, Rally Bike. What are you guys' thoughts on these new games that came out this week? What are you loving and what are you when what are you hating or are you hating? Trucks and two. Trucks and two is two. Brad hates trucks and two. Okay, no, Mikey, I love what about you? Trucks and two. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff, I love trucks and two. It's pretty it's good. like it's uh, pretty you know, good. people it's and really you know good. I even did a poll on my channel, trucks in one versus trucks and two, and uh Oh, people what, love trucks and two. Can we show the results? Are we or we're we doing that later? Let's see. We'll oh, do you know it what? later. We'll do it later. Let's talk we about this oils well and rally bike. Okay. For a second. Uh I I've played rally bike in the past, and you know, I'll say it's a it's a decent little game, you know. So, you know, if you like little racing games like that, you know, you might enjoy it. It's it's similar to some other games that are already on arcade, right? But it's got more going on, right? Yeah, yeah. If I'm remembering correctly, yeah. What's the other? What game am I thinking of? There's another game that looks just like it. I can't think of what it is. Oh. Moto G, G. Is it Moto G? Moto USA or something? Moto USA looks like yeah. it. Kinda. But yeah. this has got more but going on. It's way right? better. The Toplin game's way better than the, uh, yeah. than the one I think. Yeah, because that's a, that's good to point out that it is Toplin, you know, and they yeah, it's a Toplin game. They usually bring the they, fire, so they, they knock do. it out of the park. Yeah, if you're looking for a little bit of that extra like retro like the <laughs> difficulty that makes you keep playing, it just they, they, they know how to do that. Just, see just chilling like this. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know what's funny? I, uh, I got a comment on a video I did back in December about the best arcade games on the iArcade. And uh -huh. uh, just just the other day, or last night, and it was somebody grilling me about not having any toe plan on my list. You know, And I'm like, I said, I'm sorry, man. If I, I'll, I'll redo it. I'll make a better one. I promise. <laughs> he grilled I think it's me. one of the better developers on the, on the iArcade. Yeah, yeah. 
I agree. Absolutely. They have a lot of hidden gems. They, I don't think they get the, the, the respect that they deserve in the arcade community, Toplan. I, I agree. And and that's been one of the things since I've become an iArcade owner is that has been I've been discovering these Toplan games uh pretty much for the first time, like all of them, and I've been having a blast with them, so yeah. Uh oh, Kristen said we're on early. Did we start early? Showing on early starting on time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think we started on time. I'm, I get all flustered now. I've been I've <laughs> got stuff I've got a backlog of like videos that I want to watch on oh, yeah. YouTube. I'm like, I can't even yeah. yeah. Oh, it's crazy. Oil's well. I like that one. That one and, and I don't like a lot of ColecoVision games. I'm only 39 years old. So you do the math and you look back and you go, okay, I, that was a little bit more Brad's generation than mine and Mikey's and mm-hmm. CT's generation. Yeah, I, I love Atari. But um, ColecoVision. Well, I don't know. Jason drowned in the lake in 1955. So. <laughs> I have been around and see some stuff. I picked up that game, actually, that racing game. I didn't get a chance to play it yet. But I bought okay. it. You bought it, but you haven't played. There's a lot of games that I want that I That's buy with the intention of playing, and I never get to. Yeah, but Oil's Well is one of those kind of games. For two ninety nine, for a ColecoVision game, it's actually a very addicting game. If you guys have tried it, it's it's one of those ones where you just you keep wanting to 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 go back and try again and try again and try again, and you start to get good at it. It is a little weird to control, and I think Michael pointed this out on Friday. When you are trying to go over and go down, you got to kind of hold the joystick down in anticipation of getting to that section of pipe that you're going to go down. So, yeah. but you but you kind of get used to it after a while. I just wish they would make some leaderboards for it, but we'll get into that. Oh later. yeah. Oh, I got the, those numbers for the uh, Truxton too. Truxton versus Truxton okay. too. Okay. Um, according to a poll I ran on Papa Brad's Gaming, Truxton. Uh, I said, "What is a better game, Truxton or Truxton 2? Truxton got 36%. Truxton 2 got 64%. So uh, people like holding that button down, what? not having to spam that fire button. <laughs> That's got to be it. That's the only it thing. Is. Like, it is. I mean, I, oh, I have, you guys wow. don't like the challenge. I like, yeah, I I like vote, the first you know, one better. I, you know, I think I like Truxton 1 better. Yeah. I never vote in my own poll. But um, yeah, I think I like Truxton 1 better for the challenge. But I'm going to be honest. Those are two killer games. If you have an yeah. arcade and you're missing out on either hard. of those, if you're missing they're out on hard. either of those, you're missing the boat. That's that's some of the best games on arcade. Of course they're hard. CT, I don't see you on those leaderboards at all. Because I don't got no interest to be on the leaderboards. I tried, <laughs> and it was hard. It hurt my hand. <laughs> <laughs> you carpal tunnel, like I kept on having your little video in my ear, <laughs> and I would just try. I get up to a minute in like twenty-seven seconds, and I gotta restart. I die. Yeah, well, try Truxton too. You just hold the button down. There's no spamming the fire button. He's, what he's talking. Have to give that a shot. What he's talking about is he's just like I can't get past this spot or whatever. I'm like, really, you're stuck there. So I made a little. I just recorded myself playing it, and I just talked over it with my strategy as I went. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe I can, maybe I'll release that out one of these days, and so everybody That's can see that. But I like uh, Ritual. Like, don't opinion. show he anybody says, uh, this video. <laughs> he says Truxton Two is better graphically, but Truxton edges it out for the challenge. There you go. That's you know, yes. Yeah. I think it comes down to to me. Do I do do I feel like I have the energy to sit there and go like this, <laughs> or do I just want to be lazy and hold the button down and go? I just like want to hold the button. <laughs> He's going to hold the button. I'll tell you what. You know, you know what's great about iArcade, too? You could try the game for 30 minutes. So, CT, when you, whenever you get some spare time, fire that game up. Buy it. Try it for 30, for 30 minutes. And, uh, you know, if you don't like it at 28 minutes, you just hit refund. And you, and get, you get a full to, trial of the game. And let me say I, this. I, I tried to try Rally Bike, but it wouldn't download right. I might have been doing something wrong. I don't know. Oh, you know, there was an issue this week. Um, and I had a couple of people actually message me directly. <laughs> Apparently, I'm like yeah. a second tier to, support uh, for arcade because people just message me like, I'm having a problem with this. To fix. Uh, just log out and log yeah. back in. All you if have you to log do is out, log, log out and log back in and everything works again. It's a very easy fix. But see, here's the thing. I remember my password. That's the only thing. <laughs> That's exactly. Hey, I, I, I know a trick for finding your password, though. What? You go on your phone. 
and act like you're going to change your password, and then you can hit the little uh, eyeball the little on there, thing. Yeah. and you can see what it is, and then just back out of there, and then bing, bang, boom. That's a good that. idea. I'm going to try it. Yeah. You got you're it. right. You're right. I, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> right now. It just clicked in my head. <laughs> yeah, yeah I know enough. Uh, well, see, I think what's happening is people are afraid because they go to log to click login on their iArcade, and it says, "Are you sure you're going to do this? It's going to delete everything. It's going to refresh or, or something like that." And people freak out. They're like, "Oh, I don't know. I don't want to do this. It's going to refresh everything." And I'm yeah, like, it was a little scary that warning. Yeah, but, but you're it's logging okay. in as yourself, so you have you're everything. Logging- Right. If you log into someone else, someone now you else, got a problem. Maybe, then you but might if you're, re- stuff if you're logging in, it's the same account, and you got no issue. You're not, you don't have to be afraid. Um, but even then, I got nervous telling people that I'm like, yeah, that's what you totally got to do. And they're like, are you sure? Like, I think yeah. Mad Dads was one of the ones. He was like, I don't know, man. I'm not sure. And I'm like, no, no, do it. Just hit it. You'll be fine. And I'm like, it works. <laughs> I don't want to be the one to tell them to do that. And then everything gets all screwed up. Brooke the Menace. I had to do that, but was hesitant until Papa Brad confirmed it was okay to do. I was hesitant because of the message that it will delete everything. Yep. Yeah. It's okay. Just log in as yourself. You're you'll be fine, and then it'll work. Listen to me when I say this. I'm not trying to mess my stuff up. I hope you're right. <laughs> I hope you're right. Can we just take a second and give <laughs> some props to the, the new upgrade? Uh, upgraded CDT Jason we got here. I mean, I don't know if anyone's yeah, noticed in the chat good. yet. In the, we can get in the box now. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I got my stuff together, right? I got my act together. Just leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> he's been working so hard, and it yeah. looks great. Now, he's no longer coming in through the doggy door. He has full control over all. See, look. Right. He's just sticking. I'm clicking oh, on everything. He actually there go. Go. Oh, there you go. Oh, he's going to go live today. A he's CT going power mad. Takeover. DT takes take over today. Yeah. I was telling them I might start the stream early and start it myself. Because <laughs> I got power now. We're gonna he's come gonna in the next the show. He's gonna have all kinds of animations everywhere. <laughs> yeah, and like it's gonna be crazy. He's gonna go I'm backwards through the stream. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's gonna drive backwards. Oh so my god. What we got going on today? Hey, well, before we before we move on though, I wanted I wanted to say something back when we were talking about Truxton being hard to play and you mm-hmm. know, and I'm of the opinion whether it's a it's a shmup like Truxton or a fighting game, you're not really playing it right unless it is a full body experience. Anyways, I mean, mm. in all honesty, I mean, I mean, go play go play Street Fighter Two Championship Edition and tell me you're not rocking that machine. You know, wait, same wait, with trucks. You got to get down on yeah, those buttons, yeah, man. Uh, you got to get uh, down on those buttons. I feel like I might have a seizure playing Truxton. It's an exciting game. That's you learn what spots Street that you don't need to do that, right? Yeah, yeah and then you learn to back off and be like, all right, you know. We're like, I know I'm in a sick spot. I can just go like this for a little bit and hit yeah, them all. That's and really then... the genius of the Toplin games is they're so strategically planned. Everything is in a yeah. place for a reason. And you start noticing that there's paths you can take it. They're great. Great, great, it's not great. just a matter of them just throwing random uh, things on the screen for you. There's a yeah, like you said, it's planned out so that they know well you're gonna be over here because you're fighting that. Now let's trick them into it's 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 they're brilliant games. They really it's are brilliant. All yeah. the way going back to Tiger Heli, their first game, they yeah. had, they had carefully routed the entire game where there's paths you should be taken. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, while we were all playing games, CT was out um, gall- gallivanting around town. And what I didn't, I, I didn't know that CT, I didn't know you were such a good dancer. What'd you catch? What'd you, you catch? What'd you catch with me today? Show me what you got. <laughs> Where'd you catch me at? Well, I don't have it pulled up. Where? There you go. Why are you catching me? CT, you want to explain that? Night. Yeah. What's going on here, What's CT? Going on, CT? What's going on, CT? I've been you know What's what going on? You caught me on, on the nightlife tip. You know, I got to get down like that. That's how I'm on. I love some disco. I like to get down. You do like to get down. We also caught this. You got oh, it. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that dance, man. That was me the the club man. that Saturday yeah. night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting funky. Yeah, you, you should add some music to play with that. 
We'll work on it. What's yeah. funny is we put the we CT never knows where we find these. <laughs> And the first time he sees this is live on the show. Yeah, he doesn't so he know what we're gonna play. We, we randomly find. We like try to get him in the. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get that genuine reaction from CT yeah. Jason. Speaking of which, <laughs> you know, his mother actually sent some footage of his dance moves when he oh, was really? a kid. Yeah. Okay. What you got for me, Mrs. Voorhees? Pamela. <laughs> got, she, she reached some out. Young to CT. It's a young CT. Let's check it out. Woo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> Show it again! Show it again! Show it one more time, one more time. I'm going to get you! Oh my gosh. I don't know how we can follow that up. I'm like in tears here. This is... Oh. Yeah, get back on track. So let's get back on track. Let's let's talk about let's just jump to the hidden gems if we will. I know I'm doing stuff out of order here for our notes, but let's let's take it. <laughs> Man, I didn't know you were that old, CT. I don't know how. We've lost all control. <laughs> it's in gem time. Oh, there's CT. You found the gems in the gem mine, CT. <laughs> <laughs> Good gravy! Oh, hey, well, well, at least we're having fun. I don't know if you guys are, but uh, but we are. Well, let's well, take a look. So I threw together when when we're going to talk about hidden gems. I threw together a little, quick little two three minute video here, just showing because I didn't want to just tell you what games I want because uh, or what games I think are hidden gems. But I just want to show you a few games that I consider to be hidden gems on the iArcade. So let's play that video and take a look at that. I'm just testing, that's all. Pop Rocks! I don't know why I have Pop Rocks there. I don't... <laughs> I was a little some crazy. Eggs. Got some eggs. I've never heard of this one. That's why I'm showing you. Mechanic escape is fun. Oh yeah, P47. That's a good one. Good shmups, king of shmups, I arcade. Got some fans of eggs in the chat. This one's a free game, you guys. If you haven't downloaded this, one, you should. It's Didn't a lot say like, it's like Metroid. A Metroid clone? Yeah, it's like Metroid, but you're stuck in ball form. For free! For free! <laughs> image fight! I highly recommend image fight. Yeah, I won the two. Got some Slurpee action going? Come on. Like it's addicting. It's addicting. addicting. How can you not like this game? It's so fun. Well, once you learn how to play it. Oh, this one's... Oh, yeah. man. This one... I can't stop. put it down once I start. Soul Chase. Yeah. This looks like something uh, the missus might play. Not big into fighters, but this one's not bad. I like this one. How much you want a back cost fanboy? You're not console fanboy. You're not. The competition is heated up on all these games. You're not even on the board anymore. Most I was going to bet it to money. I was going to get it to bet me. I th I, he's not on the board anymore, but I don't know if anyone beat his score i don't remember what his score was but i think when he sold it i think there is a time frame in there that, that they deactivate the account or like someone else renamed the account or whatever and it and it reset he's gone what he's if he didn't deactivate it maybe well maybe whoever used it john pulls the plug on you if you sell your machine 
Oh, well, because his device would be probably under the new person. Device? Oh. Right. Yeah, the new person yeah, would have a serial number. I still have his account. He just don't have his device. That means he still lives on unless he deactivated yeah. his, you know, profile. I didn't see him oh, on the yeah. eggs leaderboard last I looked. Maybe we all just beat his score. I don't know. But sorry, Constantine. You know what? Back. You're going to have to buy another one. You have to buy another you one. You got to buy another out. one and reclaim your title. It's just going to be how it is. Here's what it is. He, he's going to get one of those Omegas. You, you know, the, I know him. The, the crazy he part will. is he made fun of that game. And I probably <laughs> never played it if it wasn't for Console Fanboy. But after he, he made fun he of it. He raged so much on I that. Played my game is actually, actually, actually pretty oh, fun. Oh, what did he say? Game. It's going off IP. Is that what he said? So the score would still be there. I don't know. Somebody pull it up and see if it's still there. Because I, last Ooh. I looked, it wasn't. Castle Fanboy is still on the leaderboard of eggs. I need to know. We'll we'll pull it up while we're, when, during the next video, video, and I'll do, yeah, I'll double have, check on that. But, oh. but Brad, can we talk about this for a minute? Because everybody, I, I know a lot of you guys have heard of these little restrictor gates, right? Mm -hmm. And they're pretty cool. But there's another option out there. I don't know if it's better, or worse. I don't know if. If you've had a chance to try oh, it yeah. out yet, Brad, Not did yet. you get this, this? weekend? I plan to install and review. Look at that. Now, what the is GRS, what are we looking at? Glenn's Retro Show. Okay. Switchable oh. four way to eight way restrictor. You hit a button and it goes from four way to eight way. <laughs> that so look, I'm going to be looks... doing. I'm going to be doing a full on mod of my control panel for my arcade. Wait, it has a button. So wait, you hit a button and it just switches. To 100% four way or 100% eight way, no. the mechanical oh, yeah, switcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. yeah. This this is not this is not just a piece of plastic. This is like fully into four way or eight way, and Whoa. something something I've wanted since day one. Some Sanwa octagonal gates. Ooh. So uh, since my warranty period's up, oh, it's wow. time to break that seal. And, uh, <laughs> mod my controls. Gonna... Yeah, time to time to, yeah. to avoid that warranty. Oh, that's a good point. Nobody's it. been doing this because of the warranty, but the, yeah. most people that oh, got them like early on. So I would imagine I'm out of warranty period. And I'll yeah. say this: as far as uh, Glenn's Retro Show products, it, I have an Atari 12 and one back there that I have his spinner in, on and his trackball, and I will personally vouch for what quality products they are. I mean, All he right. really does an amazing job on that stuff. So I trust that this is this could be a game changer. Absolutely. For us and Glenn really is good. getting the full endorsement of the iArcadians yeah, show. So Glenn, go check it Glenn, out. I always impressed me with his. Um, How much are those work. restrictor uh, switchers? I don't know. They're on Amazon. They're not too expensive. Oh, you just like, get them right on Amazon. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. Like thirty bucks, forty bucks. No, it's not a lot. Okay. But well, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mod it. I'll do a review of it. So this mm. weekend probably. Mm. I am excited to hear that. About doing the mud. Is it hard to put in? I don't think it's hard at all because it's really just a re it's really just the uh, restrictor plate that goes on the bottom of the joystick. It's just a few screws. And then it plugs into USB. It, it like has a, a a thing that goes to a, a powered source because it's mechanical. So you're gonna okay. have to drill in a, another hole for this no new button? No, no. It's just it's just you just press the button. The button has a spot for the original button and the activate the four way eight way. Huh. Oh, I'll show it. I'm going to do a review on my yeah. channel. I'm yeah. getting it. I don't, I'm trying to figure out what button that replaces. That's okay. Well, well, yeah, where are you gonna, that that? we need yeah. to make that a segment on the show, man. That's yeah. a great idea. We'll do we'll a segment on the next show. More about, about this. This is very interesting. Works is there's, there's a button that has two buttons in it. Uh, like, I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. Can you make me full screen? Something Come on, CT! Come on, hit there, the controls. You got controls now, buddy. Yeah. The button is it comes with a special button, which takes one button and turns it into two, and that's how you can still do all the controls. Oh, oh really? Yeah, huh. it's slick. I can't wait to try it out. I know Detroit Love did a mod of it, but I'm gonna do the mod. I want to see this. Mrs. Mikey J Productions is giving me a, a God bless you to Jeff. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Mikey. Which. Mikey, can we plug your show that you're doing a show now with Mrs. Mikey J? Is this a I, weekly thing or? Uh, it's as of right now, it's a weekly thing, but you know, it's probably won't be every week guaranteed. But yeah, we have uh, it's called the Brick Chat, and it's all it's a Lego show, and I'm engaging mm. my Lego community, and I had a nice turnout for the first show. Mm. 
Uh, so much so that I actually have had a lot of people reach out to me and they want to plug some of their Lego idea sets and stuff on, on that show. And so I already have some stuff in, in line and like, I'm actually super excited. Like, yeah, you know, get the Lego ideas community going and give them a platform and Oh, brick chat. So anybody that's on. interested in Legos, go check yeah. out Mr. and Mrs. Mikey J Productions over there. That's uh, pretty cool. I know I was there watching you guys. That was a uh, it was pretty fun. And and what's really cool about it is, uh, I you know, I got so much uh, stuff going on between the Arcadians and, and everything else that actually Mrs. Mikey J is putting in the hours on that production. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's that's her baby and what know. is this how did you do that <laughs> <laughs> what kind of controls do you have that are doing this stuff i have no idea Sorry, how you even does this that is crazy <laughs> CT Jason take. so punk rock dave said michael maybe put that uh sucker stock in the Omega cabinets. I think that would be kind of cool. Ooh, there you go. Just make it. That's just a thought. Work a deal with Glenn and be like, look, give us a deal of bulk on these things. We'll slap them into all the new cabinets. That might be kind of cool. And Ritual Della loves me. I love you too, man. Oh, we got retro yeah. arcade music man in the chat. What's yeah. up, bud? So let's take a look at Papa Brad's, uh, some of the games that you were thinking are are, are hidden gems. Oh, I can't wait. I love these games. I love these games so much. You got some good picks. These are some of the games that Papa Brad considers hidden gems on the I Arcade. My first game is no surprise. It's Dark Seal. This is a Dungeons and Dragons themed type game. It's kind of like a uh, dungeon crawl game. I like this game a lot. You get to choose from four characters. It's a ton of fun. This is one of the ones that I would recommend checking out. Dark Seal 1 and Dark Seal 2 are both excellent. Next game is going to be controversial. You either love it or you hate it, but eggs. This is one of those games that's really difficult, and the fact that it's so challenging is what makes it so addictive. This is a fun game. It was a predecessor to Mr. Do, so there's some there's some characters in it that were in Mr. Do. It's a fun game. Give it a shot. Um, just be warned, it's not for the lighthearted. It's the difficulty level is pretty tough. Gem reminds me of a great game that I love called Metal Slug. It's called Gun Force 2. This is a really great game. It's a ton of fun. If you like the Metal Slug series, the Neo Geo series, this is like really similar. Total blast. I mean, just shooting stuff. I mean, wonderful game. Highly recommend Gun Force 2. Check this one out. It's definitely a hidden gem. This game is so much like Metal Slug, it's not funny. Yeah, that's an awesome one for sure. Highly recommend. Next up, a game that was reviewed by Herb Wars on the Arcadians. This is a great game that I love, it's one of my favorites, In the Hunt. In the Hunt is a submarine based shooter game. Um, the thing that makes it so exceptional is just the gameplay is great. And it was designed by the same team that made Metal Slug. So it's like if Metal Slug had a shooter, this is what it would look like. And this game is just fun. The bosses are fun. This is like a great arcade shooter. So much fun to play as a player as well. Uh, I hope this is one of the ones that we get online. The 
again, these two games, they just nail that Metal Slug feeling. Definitely. I mean, this, these games love them. Another what I considered hidden gem and a must-own game if you have an eye arcade is Siggy. Um, this game is just so much fun. Uh, it's basically a farting Mario, but the humor, and it's dirt cheap, and it's just a great game. It, it's cheap and it's fun. Give Siggy a shot. This is a game that I'd recommend, and it's definitely what hidden What a pair gem. of lungs! Come on, $4.99. $4.99. I mean, I could not love that. Another game that I consider a hidden gem in the iArcade library is Tropical Angel. This is a classic arcade water skiing game. It's just a lot of fun. While it seems basic at first, the more you get into it, uh, the more you realize the nuances of the game and how you can get through it and how you can score better. This is just a great score chasing game and I'd highly recommend it if you haven't played it. Oh yeah! Showing off the Another great Bob game Brad. that might get hidden and be considered a hidden gem inside the IRK this lineup game of needs games to get talked about more. is a this great is a, shooter a um, that has kind of a samurai theme. It's called Tengai, and I'd definitely check it out. It's a lot of fun. It's got great bosses. Um, you know, the IRK, in my opinion, is the king of shmups as far as a cab that is made to play shooters. And this is a good one that often gets overlooked. So check it out. Digging the anime characters on it for sure. You're like a flying ninja. Like, what is this? We're anime fans in my house. What is she throwing? Like playing cards? Reminds this me of game is so SNES. awesome. Give it a try. I guarantee you'll like it. It's great. Sounds like a lot of click. I have too much button pressing for CT. Brooklyn Menace knows. <laughs> That's crazy. That's and crazy. That was my list. Let me throw some stats out there, okay? Dark Seal, okay. seven ninety nine. dollars Dark Seal 2. Uh, that's 40 and 44 in the ratings. Eggs, 180 on the on the on the games list. 499. Uh, Gun Force 2. This is for CT Jason because he always asks me how much they are. 999. It's rated oh, 36. In the it's hunt, 999. It's rated 28. Um, Siggy, 34. It's 499. Hey, it's, it's rated 28. That's not a hidden gem. That's that's I, a top tier then. No, well, I mean, for me, it's a hidden gem because no one's talking about it. Um, All right, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, fair let's enough. see. Tropical a Angel, 164. Um, 599. It's kind of in the middle. And Tengai, it's 69, and it's uh, 999. But these are some games that um, I don't hear many people talking that much about. I mean, obviously, I'm a Tropical Angel maniac, so, like, I've been pushing it hard because I love the game. But, I mean, I think, you know, these are games that you might want to explore. That I like that are kind yeah. of on the arcade. Absolutely. Good, nice good choices. Choice. Thank you so much. And I think, you know, games like Tropical Angel to me, it's what makes that game is the, the score chasing, the leaderboard chasing. Mm -hmm. But it, it, honestly, if it didn't have global leaderboards, I would be like, I'm not even interested in this game at all. Like, I, I but you get to where you're just, you're, oh, you're so close. You just need to get that score. CTJ's playing with the camera. <laughs> CT, pull up, my, pull up my scoreboard here. Speaking of leaderboards, uh, we, we, we're we checking on this for console fans. I can't fan do it. I don't know. <laughs> we don't know what button to push. Here we go. Oh, Hit this oh, one. oh. Where'd it go? You let him in the, the front door go. and wrap the <laughs> joint. It's okay. Hey, here we go. This is official. This is live right here. You got Alex Kohler Smith, top top dog, and then oh, uh oh, Adder, of course seven. is always on the top. Uh Jolly Green. See, I don't see I'm Council Fan. I'm on there three times, Michael. What's wrong with your leaderboards? <laughs> well, why is Where my name on there? Why aren't you putting in that work? Yeah, I know, man. <laughs> I'm there What's three up? Times. Something's broken. I don't know. How understand can you be on there three times? It's in yeah. Jeff's. It's in Jeff's favorites. Uh, he's oh, got it. I think he said this one time. Something about if you have multiple, I like if a dynamic IP address because he said it's by IP. So like, I have two Wi-Fi connections 
off of my router. So if I switch, maybe it gives me another score on there. Is that how that works, Michael? I don't know. If, he's if you're still in the chat lurking, maybe you can explain how it is that I got three times on there. I, I could have swore it's because you have to have three machines. So I'm guessing you have one sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> it's sneaky. Uh, it's like three machines we don't know about or something. <laughs> yeah. It's all these in Canada says leader, leader, oh, leader leaderboards add read to re re replayability. Okay, so that's why we're switching to from IP to nickname for leaderboards. So that's why he was saying, what was the, the deadline by the end of the month? Is that what it is, Michael? Where by the end of the month you want you want to lock in what you want your nickname to be because the leaderboard is going to be based on that going forward. Can we do but, a super shout out to the Tim's Tiny Arcade who's also on the leaderboards, front yeah. of the channel? He is on there. Look at that number twelve. We'll give him. It's officially number eleven because I got spots eight and nine. But, so you know, Jeff, the only thing that really Arts matters the... is I am above you on this leaderboard. So you're above all three. I got three yeah, on there. You're above all three of. <laughs> That makes me happy. I'm gonna pass you. I'm okay, gonna pass well, you we got some week. bangers on on page two as well. Hey, so I wanted to explain how this works. You guys see how all these people have a thirty thousand score, and then you go up here, and then all of a sudden it gets to thirty three thousand, right? Mm -hmm. So the way that this works, is my understanding, is if you place on the leaderboard, give this, to, give me, give me full <laughs> space. So, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the way that uh, my understanding of how this works is let's say you get a high score on your machine and it's like 25,000. So you've set a high score and it goes on the leaderboard at that minimum score of 30,000. So now you're the most current and the most recent 30,000. So you jump to the top of that list of 30,000. The next person that does a high score, even if it's lower than your score, they said a high score, meaning they are now 30,000 as well. They jump to the top. And it just keeps doing that, and you're just going to keep leapfrogging until somebody gets over 30,000, then they'll all then they'll stay above that. It's kind of weird. How, so that's why some of these ones, like what's the, the latest one that was like 150,000 to get on the board? But if you score a high score at 120, Truxton 2. Truxton 2, yeah. Yeah. And, so um, same kind of thing. Hey, uh, since we have Michael listening, um, you know, one thing I'm surprised, why can't we have more pages of leaderboards? Why are we limited to just two? Like, why can't we have like six pages of leaderboards? That way we can yeah. see more people on them. Then we can make fun of CT and and uh, P dubs because they're I know. Know, they're so bad. I will I'm pass gonna ask you on the sixth <laughs> page. I'll make oh, you that promise. Don't make me do it. But you know what? Work. It does motivate people. Like if they could see someone they know and they and they want to get above them, yeah, like they it might does. be. If there was like four pages or six pages, they would. They might That's still true. play to beat those even people that here. they know in the community. I don't think every game necessarily warrants more than two, but the, I'm not the, even on the ones here. that are popular. I don't, yeah, I don't know. What if it was just like a matter of code? Like just instead of two, show four. I mean, what if it's an easy thing? I don't know how hard it is, but. You it seems like it's just a database. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good one. My, okay, so Michael says, originally, <clears throat> I wanted to display only top Ooh. 10, just like typical arcade Ooh. games. Oh, wow. Yeah, but here's the thing, Michael. So Let's say inclusive. this. If you do that, you got to remember, regular arcades were all local. So you had to actually go there and play it and pop those quarters to get on that board. Now, this is global. So, you know you're going to have a way bigger group of people playing that same game for those same leaderboards. So That's a good point, Jeff. That's a really good point. It don't point. matter. you got to be top ten, the best of the best. Makes yeah, sense but, to me. No, I, I agree. When you're talking about something, yeah. especially with it becoming online connected and everything, <laughs> and I think IRK is going to continue to grow. I think, you know, we should eventually see an expansion of having, <laughs> like, more pages for the leaderboards. Because I'd it's like gonna, to still, the yeah, when there's 100,000 people... I still want to see my name, even if I'm number 80 or, you know, I don't yeah. want just because the, the top 50 people all have the, the, you know, the world record score that I know I'm never going to get. I don't want it to be like, I don't have any incentive now I mean, to play Tropical Angel because everyone's got Todd Russell's score. You know? I'll, also, I'll also say this on, on the big blue uh, from arcade one up, it doesn't. It only displays the f how many the top scores, top ten or twelve or whatever. And as such, you, you know, unless you're in that top twelve, you don't even really care because it's like, what does it even matter? I'm well, nowhere near. You that. don't care, and it doesn't build as much community. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. And you know, 
some arcade games too even had like a score of the day, you know, like uh, today's best score, like defenders that way. Or Robotron. what you could do something like they have like a arcade. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Some of them I've seen too where they'll show like the top 50, but if you're not in the top 50, it'll be like here's the top 50, and then it'll show your name, your number 127, right? And it'll just yeah, tell you cool what too. rank like you that. are, yeah. even though you're not displayed in the list of top 50 or whatever. But it'll tell you what you where you would fall. If it went that far, mm-hmm. it just is to show always, how bad you are. It's always motivating to see someone you know, though, and try to beat them. You know, just like, oh, can I beat? I know this person. You know, can I maybe? I, can I get their score? Can I match their score? You know. But I, mm-hmm. but I just want to reiterate just how important the global leaderboards are, and how I, I really, really hope we don't neglect going back to some of these other games and adding global leaderboards when we can I, I recognize not every game that that's easy to do some of them you just mm. can't um but the ones that we can like oils well will get 10 times more downloads if it had a global leaderboard set up because more people would want yeah. to compete because it would be competitive nature to it you know right? and, and i love that they added a leaderboard for tiger heli because yeah. i'm in number six i'm at number six yeah that's a fun game that's so a fun lucky. game <laughs> i know it's amazing i love the leaderboards well, did anybody else do a arcade. video about hidden gems? Uh, CT, Mikey, did you guys do I one? Got, I got one. Here. All right, let's see. Now, I don't have any sound so, or voiceover, so we got to talk here, buddies. Uh, I okay, like this mics one. Are on. This I is, like this game. The Astanax is a good one. This is different than the NES version. Both are good. And then uh, Bomb oh, Squad here. Bomb Squad. Like, that's packing game, too. Can't forget about that. Yeah. And, and, and this game is surprisingly fun, everyone. And it, and it is online right now, you know, which is pretty cool. Michael wants to tell us stuff he can't say. Uh, oh, I know. Oddmar then... is amazing. Yeah. One of the best. Oh, One of the best. God, this is a good game. This is a must have. Well designed yeah. game. So much fun. Amazing graphics. Great gameplay. This, you know, this this has got to be one of the better platformers on the system. I mean, it, it, it's a good one. And then Rage of the Dragons. How can you not like this game? I mean, it's it's not, it's less like Street Fighter and more, I guess, King of Fighters ish. You know, you have two players instead of one on your team, but and it's got a combo system that you really got to try to master if you want to get good at it. It's but, so uh, hard. It's yeah, so I can't hard. wait for this to go online because I can't beat the computer no matter how much I play it. I might I, actually I, I be able to, to beat a Bobo. you, bro. I can get to a Bobo. <laughs> we need a gameplay video. I need I need some tips. Yeah. Do a gameplay video. I was rusty video, at Mikey. it, so I hadn't played it in a while when I was capturing footage here. And then uh, oh, Stadium yeah. Hero oh, 96. Yeah. And this game, this is a surprisingly good baseball game, folks. Uh, I mean, for one, it came out in 1996, which is fairly late in the arcade release, honestly. And But it's, it's a quality baseball release. I was really surprised at how good Stadium Hero actually is. If you want an arcade version of a baseball game, this, that's perfect. It just it fits the bill for that. What is this garbage? Ta- what are you ta- showing? Ta- 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 <laughs> now, this is game. This? Oh, it's Topland. This is a Topland okay. game. You got my it's never a played. puzzle game. And guys, I, I'm super in love with this game. So much so that I'll go on record right now. And say this is better than Super Super Puzzle Fighter. Well, hold on. This is—is is this like Doctor Mario? What are you trying to do? Could, you gotta get the three? colors, but you know, as long as they're connecting and touching, you have to get five in a row. Okay. And then uh, Thunder Zone. <laughs> I <have> made up rules. <laughs> <laughs> five in make, a row. Make up our own rules. Thunder Zone here. This is a great running gun, like guys. Shock Troopers. Yeah, but it, you can drive vehicles, tanks, and little buggies and stuff. Like it, it it's a fun. really like good game. And every time I turn it on, there's one aspect of it that always catches me like super hard, and I get into it. And it is this music. Like let's just just be quiet and listen to them rock out. I'd be pissed. I'd be missing yeah. all them shots. Shooting all sideways and stuff. <laughs> oh, I just guitar going on that. That guitar awesome. solo in it, man. Oh, I dig it. <laughs> I could just see you playing this, Mikey, in the back. <laughs> yeah, I could, That's good. 
That's was the, that Toplin? That did uh, that? No, that was oh, Dana was, East. That was oh, okay, Dana East. Yeah. It looks a lot like Shock Troopers. You ever played that one, the Neo Geo game? Yeah, it's 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 similar to that. Uh, absolutely. A um, little bit of Shock Troopers, a little bit of Outzone, maybe. Yeah, like yeah, and Kari Warrior style. Yeah, I, it, it's it's definitely a sleeper one that I, I highly recommend people. I don't give, know give if I go. have that one. I might have it, and I just haven't played it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to check that one out. But I want to check out this Techie Pocky now. I want to check out the Thunder Zone. See, look, this is why we do this. So all the yeah. people watching this can be like, they're they're taking notes. They're right. They're buying stuff right now, and Michael's right. going, yeah. Yeah. See, uh, and, and, and Techie Packy, let me just say, I wanted a puzzle game and I went through and I want a leaderboard game. And it was the only one that had leaderboards. So I was like, well, I guess you leaderboards win. for the oh, win. I, the and, puzzle and, game with the leaderboards? And, as of right now, yeah. I mean, unless they've updated things, or at least when I bought uh, Techie Packy. But when I started Does Magic playing Drop, it, have them? Uh, not last time I saw it, didn't. Uh. But uh, he says, keep an eye out. You never know what uh, things are on true. the works behind this. So that's maybe true. tomorrow, if we if we beg Michael hard enough, maybe tomorrow he's going to be like, look, yesterday you wanted more leaderboards. Here's 20 more games with leaderboards. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Yay, that Michael, we nice. love you. <laughs> you know what would happen? You know what would happen if that came to be? This. <laughs> oh, you have it. oh yeah! Leaderboards. Okay, I think there, CT, CT might have a gem to show us. Didn't CT show have a gem that he filmed? Somebody mentioned it right there, mouse bot. Let's I take a look at so. Let's see CT Jason experiencing this this hidden gem, mouse bot. So today we're talking about some hidden gems on the I Arcade, and I got one. Where is it? There it is right there. This one right here, Mouse Bot. Now, Listen to this, music. this is one of the first games that I got when I first got my iArcade. Because it looked different. It looked interesting. And the graphics look pretty decent. So, I'm going to pick this up again right now and try it out. You know, it's been a, quite a while, say, five, six months since I played this game. So we're going to jump up in it. All right, we got the jump button. Easy. Easy controls, I can remember that. That ain't going to be a problem. Let's get this game started and see what happens. Yeah, I did like that music. I ain't going to lie. All right, let me see. If I hit this button, all right, these are the outfit I picked. I got 78 cheese. I guess gotta I got to get, get some more cheese. I can't cheese. buy nothing. I need more cheese. I want that outfit. More cheese. It don't even tell me the price. I just got to work hard. Game, isn't it? Get my cheese game up. I got it. More cheese. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to have to earn some more cheese. I'm going to have to play some matches. I'm on match number six. Complete the maze. Get nine pieces of cheese. I gotta get that cheese. I gotta get that loot. Get that cheddar. Get that cheddar. I, cheddar. I didn't know. I tried to get the cheese. Hold on. Let me get that cheese. Let me get that loot. Some cheddar. Yeah, let me see if I can get it. Ah. Oh. I guess I, I think can't get that cheese. I might have to I didn't skip know. it. Just jump I thought I could work. steal it. I'm just keep on going. Now. The controls as far as moving back and forth, it feels good. This is nice. I just won't get the two mouse trap cheese. Learn my lesson twice. Shit. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I got fooled twice, that's what I get. Let me see if I can make it to the end. Get there, get there, get there. Yes, son it. It's all right. So I got a kind of mouse. Pass. We're going to use that. We're going to keep it pushing. So you're the kind <laughs> of right, play this all day long. Let me get it. Let me get it. There it is. There it is. We yeah. took him two mouse traps to learn not to go bit by the mouse trap. Got some cheese. <laughs> the the some cheese. Got some cheese. Make it rain. Got me in the water. 
This game got some cutscenes, okay. It's interesting. Let me let me try another level real quick. I wonder why I can't jump. Alright, complete the maze, get 11 pieces of cheese. I'm trying to get all the cheese, I want all the loot. So we got it right here. Get all this cheese, this is easy. This is too easy. Get all this cheese. Oh, it gets harder, I beat the game. It gets tougher as you get going. Ah, I got 11. Got all the cheese I need. I need some more. Let me get all that cheese and some greedy. Get all that. 15, 16. We get some more. 17, 18, 19 pieces of cheese. All that cheese for me. Plus, I got 20 more pieces. Shit. <laughs> Reckon that money. Let me see what we got here. Oh, look at that. I got the skin that I wanted, the one right in the picture, right there on the right side of the screen. I gotta try one more level, folks, real quick. Oh, shoot! Now they're gonna teach me how to jump! Alright, I'm down with this. Let's get it! Oh, shoot, you get a little, you get a little ups. He got some ups, okay. Oh, they want me to get fancy with it. Ah, uh, you got some hang time when you jump in the air. You can move around real quick. Look at that. Gives you one second to adjust. That ain't too bad. We got this. Put ya. We get another. Come on, fire. Real fancy. I wonder if I can get some cheese off a trap like this. I'm gonna try in a second. Nope. Damn it. You made me lose that cheese. It's all right. I'm going to get the rest. Get all these pieces of cheese. Let me adjust my body. There it is. 19. I missed one. Oh, well. Give me that bonus. Make it rain. Make it rain. All the cheeses for me. You'll buy me a whole bunch of stuff. Look at all that cheese. Look at all that cheese. <laughs> well, get that I have fun with this. Get that chatter. Yeah, game watching is you. It's easy to play. Easy to move Taking around. notes. I like it. I'm glad I picked it back up. I'm gonna have to play this again later. I recommend this game. It's a hidden gem. Did you see my that book. logo? I give it a thumbs up. Well, folks, see the thanks logo for watching. That's Optimize my picks for the, the day. System. We're gonna get back to everything. Good job. I'll see y'all later. Back to the show. Back to the show. You gotta have that music play us out. <laughs> Nice and Excellent job, yeah. CTJ. That's what I think about that. Uh, nice and smooth and soothing. <laughs> the piano yeah. music. That's a, it. Does get harder. It does get a little bit harder, but mm -hmm. it's not too hard. It's not too hard. My kids loved that game. They played it all the way through. Uh, great, a great game to play with kids and stuff too. And, That's uh, what I was uh, thinking when I was watching. I was like, that might be something that. Uh, Family might be into here. It, it's a know. platformer, is what it really is. It's not a ra It looks like a racing game, but it's not. It's a platformer. It's just kind of three D. But uh, you're hilarious watching play that. Like I could watch <laughs> you play that all day long. I enjoy it. That's that's a nice game. I'll definitely play that again. It's real easy. It yeah. feels good when you move the stick. It it just wants saying. to get you to cha challenges and to try and get some of those like the ones that are over the mouse trap and stuff. Mm -hmm. And you know. You know you should not try, but you try anyway, and then, and then you get hit in the mouse trap, and you're like, "Oh, I should have tried to get that." Is it possible? It Can you get it over the mouse trap? Yeah, you you just got to time your jump just right. You gotta For real, right. I've got I got to try. It's tough. Uh, I love that it took him getting snapped by the mouse trap <laughs> twice to learn not to go back. I had him. <laughs> <laughs> you would not last if you were a real mouse. No, you would not last. <laughs> oh my gosh. Lost both uh, legs. Okay, well, Papa Brad did a review of another hidden gem, too, as well. Um, okay, this one here, this one here is a hidden gem. And uh, this, uh, this game uh, comes from uh, Spain. The company is a Spanish company that made it, so it was not really played much in the United States. But this is an amazing game. Let's check out. Thunder Hoops 2.
Thunderhoop 2, TH Strikes Back. It's been a decade Hi, since you broke free from that horrible lab you were created in. Now it's your chance to return and burn it to the ground once and for all. This game was whoa, made by whoa, Galco, whoa, whoa, whoa. a company that is based in Barcelona, Spain. Okay, let's do this. Let's coin up. This game really reminds me a lot of Sunset Riders as far as playability. Music rocks! I love it! Okay. The characters in this game are crazy. It's like a combination of Rambo and Goku. Check out this boss. It's a fat ninja turtle. I mean, you gotta love that. This is game is a hidden gem. If you haven't played this game, it's so much fun. You feel so powerful as bullets and uh, fireballs and shooting out of your hands. Yeah, it looks like Slash from Ninja Turtles. Your ladies, voluptuous and explosive. Thunderhoop 2 is for you. This is not a family friendly. Review. This game is practically the definition of a hidden gem because it was launched in Spain and then played in Spanish arcades. This is a pretty rare game and ranks a three out of a hundred on the rarity scale. Oh yeah, let's do it HR again! Dagger and Alien references are all over this game. Also probably Woo. a liberal dose of Heavy Metal magazine. Heavy Metal Thunder! Thunderhoop Strikes Back is a 2D side-scrolling platform game. Set 10 years after the events of Thunderhoop, the game starts with forces attacking the TH Project facility, aiming to steal the, the Thunderhoop DNA, whoa, 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 once out. again assuming the role of the now adult Thunderhoop. As you traverse the stages, you jump on platforms oh, and defend yourself from creatures and human forces. You can use your fist to shoot enemies and kill them. Jumping on the heads of enemies will also kill them. This game you can play solo or with a friend Look at simultaneously. That yeah, I think we all saw the artwork. Pop culture Brad. references are rampant in this game as it readily steals from the Alien franchise, the Rambo franchise. If it was in the 90s and it was cool, and it had a lot of testosterone. It is in this game. <laughs> and then this happens. I mean, this game is cray cray and banana balls. They found out they were insane. Okay, this game is a pretty excellent game. I mean, 
this is uh, a game that you have to play on IRK. It's just an amazing game. And I would have to give this one a very strong recommendation as I love this game and um, I would highly recommend it. I just wanted to point out, guys, this is a mature rated game. We should have probably mentioned that before we showed that. <laughs> this There's is, a lot of stuff in that game. This is, this is a hidden gem that nobody knows about, that I don't hear a lot about, that is fantastic. And, uh, you know, the rarity scale on this game is through the roof. You saw what the rarity was, according to the uh, killer list of arcade games. Three out of a hundred. This is a super rare, expensive arcade to play. <laughs> Mike, Mike knows where to find it. <laughs> I, I don't know what to uh, say to that one. I'm not going to read that comment. But that's it. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, read this comment. Brooklyn Venice said, I would buy a home arcade just for this game. I so, played a little bit of this. I have not played it as much as you showed there, but that's um, <laughs> pretty wild. Who's going to put that as the last video? I. I, yeah, we can't. I can, we can't I follow think we can that. Top that. So, uh, great, great, great video, Brad. Great. Yeah. Um. Okay. So we did another poll. There was another poll where we talked about. Um, what, did you do this on your channel, Brad, or was this on the Arcadians where we were talking about? It's in online? the. It's a, it's in the. Uh, click on the first picture. It's in the pictures. Sorry, my phone is ringing. Detroit Love likes to make noise in my phone. Okay. Uh, what? Pictures. Pictures. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Right, I heard that too. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> um, okay. So what? Is, so I can't read the whole question here, but you're saying, I Arcade, if you need more time to make online right, please take it. Please don't let your self-imposed quarter one 2022 deadline be the reason to rush out something not fully baked out this online system needs to work good more than be semi-functional i don't have the rest of it here but i think what, what were you getting at on this brad it was um, um yeah the gist of this question was i mean do we think they need to rush online out or is it better for them to wait and get it perfected before right. they put it out that was the gist of the question, and then they had th they had three choices. Um, obviously, I was clicking the I would be voted. It. I voted. This is my vote, and I just screenshotted it. But um, I'm pretty sure interesting. I the it. data on it is interesting. Um, huh. If you look, let me make it full wow. screen so I can read it. Most wait, people... wait at least another six months if it's necessary to make the system good. Got 68 votes. Release online now, and we'll beta test it until it's right. Got basically half of that, 31 votes. And an online functionality must be released within Q1 2022 as promised. No matter what, only got three votes. So I was hmm. surprised. This shows a lot okay. of patience. You know, I, I couldn't believe the patience um, people have. And, uh, you know. Yeah. What do you guys think about it? I, I, I I'm it pretty sure I voted post. for the same one you did, Brad, of release online now and we'll beta test it. Uh, but I understand the notion to wanting to wait. Uh, I guess what turned me off on that one is the six months. I mean, that feels a little bit long. I mean, I would rather look at it in like three months block than six months, you know. Six months is a seems like a lifetime from now. <clears throat> right. I think That's if you're a if you're long time. That if you're coming time. out and I think you're saying saying, guys, um, we can launch it right now, but it may not be perfect. Or are, do you want to wait six months because it'll be much better in six months? Mm. Or like if they said the same thing and said in two months or three months. Can you read this comment from Mike Hawkhurts? Does it? They have creams for that. Uh -huh. um, okay. Make it <laughs> make it worth the wait. <laughs> no sense on rushing. Only one chance to make a good first impression. That's a good point. That is a good, good point. point. So I think what this poll is telling you, Michael Light, if you are in the uh, the chat still, is uh, 
this this quarter one uh, self imposed thing that you got what how many days left a week a week left um if that's rushing things take your time let's get it right and uh, you know let, let's let's have a chance to to make yeah. sure that what you're going to put out is quality yeah. i think that's that's what this is telling us right yeah. well uh, and i think it's important to note that everyone keeps saying beta beta but michael himself has said no it's going to be alpha Test. <laughs> right? Like it's gonna be broken. Don't expect this to work perfect. So, so but you and, know, and to be fair, can they even fully test it until they have everyone online though and really load that system up? I mean, can it be tested without a lot of people playing it? You know, right. And to be fair, you know, he's told us what games are gonna be. They're not launching this with a whole bunch of games, they're launching with just a, a very small handful of a few games to begin with to just really get it tested. Yeah. And then it'll be, you know, a couple of weeks down the road, they'll add they'll add more once they make sure it's working and that, you know. Um, but they want to ha have a very small number of games at first to make sure that everyone's able to play those and try them. If they just launched it with 100 games all at once, they're not going to get people to, to, you know, to play it together. So, yeah. I like this comment from Rich Odella. That's why I threw it up. As long as they preface it, it's a beta to set ex expectations. Yeah. And, you know. So do not expect... Um, spectator, spectator mode, mode, lobbies, chatting, all of the, this. Is this going to be like bare bones basic Just when it first comes out? Get us to connect and allow us to play together <clears throat> would be a start. In fact, I think what they're they're talking about doing is maybe even setting up a like a kind of an unofficial little Discord server or something so that people can have a way to communicate since that's not going to be built in part of it from the get go as kind of a temporary solution for that kind of thing. So that would be kind of cool. You know, and I'm just going to say this, too. I mean, they have a pretty good track record. I mean, we wanted scan lines and picture perfect. We got it. You know, they tend to release things when it's ready. How do you guys what, feel? Well, I want to know, like, what are you guys like as far, as far as the scan lines? Do you use the scan lines? Because I like to use the CRT one with the older games. I think that is... Uh, makes the older games feel more like an arcade to me but with the modern stuff i actually don't use any of the scan lines what do you guys kind of it kind of gives you that fake like it, it was a tube look you know yeah with it looks CRT it looks money. cool it's a pretty cool effect but you know you know for me it's the pic it's the pixel perfect having the games okay. pixel perfect was everything night and day for retro Ooh. games Mm -hmm. yeah i don't i don't use any of the scan lines honestly and it, i i'm glad that they're there i i like it but uh you know options are always a good thing but i'm actually with brad i'm more of a pixel perfect kind of person you know i agree with you i like my pixels i don't use the scan lines don't bother me now i like it looking right Okay. Well, what do you guys think? What are they saying in the chat? Do you guys use the... Uh, uh, Raven SP a... says never never uses scan yeah. lines. Okay. I want to see those streams, he said. What do you mean by that? You want to see... Oh, you want to see us streaming the online? We'll do it. Put it out. We'll do it. Yeah. yeah are you offering? Sure. Are you yeah. offering up yeah. some? What's up? I think he yeah. just told us he's going to let us have access early. Is that what he's yeah, saying, we'll Michael? Test it for you. Four yeah. of us are going to play it before before to give him a an alpha alpha, a double alpha. I actually I asked him about that the other day, and he's like, yeah. it's, "It's not ready for you." I think <laughs> so, even if you're even if you were mixed on scan lines, I think the amount of options they offer you, like if you like scan lines at all, they got them on iArcade where you can find what you want. Yeah, I mean, definitely they have enough options. So um, we did another poll. Full of um, polls. <laughs> we did a lot of polls. So this poll. Papa Brad likes to get the data. I'm sorry. Brad, why don't you show your poll first? And then I'm going to pull up my poll because I had a follow up poll to your poll. And I don't yeah. know what the Th results are. This is are. important information. This is, we started talking. What Now, what it's spawned this was a conversation we were having about games and like how do i explain how, it like how wrong jeff is how no, wrong, no, no. <laughs> absolutely wrong like, and how like confused jeff games. is about retro games Papa brad's throwing on the gauntlet uh, okay look there's games such as for instance like gun force is similar to like metal slug 
But does that mean it's a lesser game that it's not as fun or that it doesn't hold up as well? Or like okay. Congo Bongo and Donkey Kong and that kind of so Let's we start the war. Let's start these. the war. Okay. So cause... let's talk about why Brad's so wrong. Go ahead and yeah. show your poll and all the people that are yeah. wrong that follow Papa Brad's channel. Yeah, yeah. No, my people that follow my channel, they know the difference. They know they know that they know the truth. And then we'll read okay. my poll. Okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead. My and my poll. Was which game is better, Dig Dug or Mr. Do? Dig Dug got 83%, and Mr. Do got a whopping 17%. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Jeff is for you, buddy. Here we go. We got some Mr. Do. Got some Mr. Do. Oh, look, there's Mr. Do. What is this? <laughs> now let's look at a real game. Let's look at this is a real game. This is a real game, Jeff. Dig Dug. Atari Namco. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We've been arguing about this all week. Okay, well, you know, I did a follow-up on my uh, channel here. Let's see. A follow-up poll. So here's my poll. Uh, I said, let's put this to rest once and for all. Dig Dug or Mr. Do? Now, you had two choices. You had Dig Dug is nowhere near as good as Mr. Do, or you could select Mr. Do is so much better than Dig Dug. <laughs> And looks Mr. like Mr. Do sounds dirty. Is they Mr. Do do. <laughs> but, oh, wait, that okay? But Ravens, Raven, like this is what I'm talking Robbie about. Robbie Roto is a good game. People say, "What is Mr. Do?" And this is what I'm talking about. They don't. People haven't played it, and that's why people clicked Dig Dug because oh, they just they have Dig Dug is just better. It. It's uh, got better music. It's more innovative. No, it doesn't. You can't even hear the music if you're not it's moving. More of a, and that's what makes oh. it cool. It's a unique game mechanic. There's actually an article about this where the guy actually breaks Anyone it down can write, into I can write an article. Anybody can write an and article. And look at it. Google this, you guys. He breaks it into like gameplay. I can play Dig sound. Dug. I can play <laughs> Dig Dug for, for, you know, I can play it for 45 minutes to an hour. I can well, play Mr. Do for like five minutes, 10 minutes. Let's get Mr. Do on the IR The music's grading. And so people can experience it, and then we'll check back after they've had a chance to play Mr. Do, and then we'll then we'll rerun this poll and see just how much it changed. Because I okay. guarantee you, once people have played both, they'll be like, "Oh, you're right, Mr. Do is a better game." So oh, also this other poll in here: How does Coca Cola know what space tastes like? How do so you know? <laughs> as 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 the as these two are sitting and arguing about this nonsense, in our private. Chat. Sorry, we've been we've been arguing all week. <laughs> um, it got me thinking because I do listen to them. You know, I, I, I listen to Jeff's 10 minute messages and I leave little candy wrapper pictures just to prove that I did. <laughs> he, look, look, because he says Mr. Do is harder. See, because you guys just want to play easier stuff like Truck Stand 2 and Mr. and Dig Dug because they're easier because you guys can't handle the challenge. JP so, Blake says Mr. Do's an issue by. I'm sorry, go ahead, Mike. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I can hear so as they're arguing Look about this nonsense, the thought occurred to me, and how this is, could wrap into the iArcadians is if a game is a knockoff or a clone of another game, but these games were released so long ago. Does it really matter now, is or is it just whether or not the game is good? Uh, and and mm -hmm. we have some we have mm -hmm. some examples here of games that you could definitely say are knockoffs mm -hmm. of something else, but they stand on their own in such a way that it's like maybe they can even outperform the originals. Mm -hmm. You know, and if you're going to copy something, copy something that's really good. Yeah, that's another like. Pearl of Wisdom. And uh, some of the games that we came up with were the Gun Force games versus Metal Slug. And yeah, uh, we talked about uh, Gun Force earlier. And well, I wouldn't say it's better than Metal Slug. It's definitely, they stand on their own for sure. Mm -hmm. And then uh, another one that I thought of immediately was Congo Bongo versus Donkey Kong. Mm, and, yeah. and, and now this one is going to kind of blow everyone's mind because I didn't play Congo I like Bongo Warp, Warp. Yeah, it's a good until game. I got the arcade. I Warp, never played Warp. it. And I'm telling you that I think I like it better than Donkey Kong. 
as crazy as that sounds. I love the 3D aspects. I love the challenge. Me and the missus have been fighting over it. And and every time she beats me, I come back and beat her again within two turns. <laughs> no way. I think I... Mm. <sighs> I know you guys are not gonna. You're not willing to get on that. That I, I hill with say me, that. But that's okay. I love Congo. Uh, Congo Bongo is a cool game, but it's no Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is a masterpiece. I mean, I'm Team Donkey Kong on that one. I think Congo yeah. Congo Bongo is a good game, but it's uh, Donkey Kong is like a like next level Zen arcade. It's in my top five of all time. So well put, Michael. Nostalgia Whoa. versus fun. Because sometimes you just have this game. Kong, everyone. I love mm-hmm. Donkey Kong as well. I'm actually a sucker for Donkey Kong 3. I I, mm-hmm. I like that one better than uh, Junior. But I um, think that's a good point. Nostalgia versus fun. I think a lot of people have nostalgia for Dig Dug because they played it more. But the more fun game is actually yeah. Mr. Do. Yeah. Yeah, you just said yes. Yeah, you right. No, I said I hear you. It was not an agreement that, <laughs> oh, that, that was Mr. Do is better. Yeah. Sorry. And then uh read the poll, read the poll. I'll do it. You can yeah. he wouldn't do the poll on his channel. He had to make it where they both said uh Mr. Do or Mr. Do. What are you talking about? Like <laughs> you have your poll, read your poll. It's ridiculous. Uh, oh wait, you want to put no, oh, this is a great poll. Look, yeah, Ms. Dig Dug is nowhere near There's as good no as Mr. Choice. Do. Or the one that won is Mr. Do is so much better than Dig Dug. Yeah, so of course 62% people think it's so much better. <laughs> and uh we, we had some other examples as well like 64th street and final fight those are definitely those are so similar if, which one if, came first final fight i'm sure does it matter which one's doesn't more fun? matter they're both fun and, and again i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna say that 64th street is better than final fight but I, it definitely has the ability to throw people through the windows and stuff. It's definitely a game mechanic that is not in Final Fight or not to that degree. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it makes it actually a lot of fun. Yeah. And then another one uh, Street Fighter 2 and Breaker's Revenge. Clearly, Breaker's Revenge was heavily, heavily influenced by Street Fighter 2. And I would go, as I've said before, I would go so far to say that Breaker's Revenge is a better game than Street Fighter II, The World Warrior. Now, there's oh, been a ton okay. of iterations. That was a ton close of iterations. <sighs> Whoa, we almost lost Fighter a bunch games. of subscribers there. Good thing you uh, clarified that. Well, I will say this. Breaker's Revenge was like, they looked at Street Fighter II as a complete inspiration. As a matter of fact, it was so oh, similar that Capcom sued them. So, I mean, if you like Street Fighter 2, you're going to like Breaker's Revenge. Yeah. In yeah. general. And then, uh, in there. and then another one we came up with was uh, Dark Seals Games versus Gauntlet. And, yeah. Yeah. again, uh, yeah. the Gauntlet series is very long, and I, I, I love the Gauntlet series. But if I'm honest, uh, I like Dark Seals 1 and 2 better than Gauntlet 1 or 2. Now, once you get to Gauntlet, Dark Legacy, and Gauntlet Legends, no, those, noise. Games, those games are awesome. CTC and Skittles. Okay, let's, let's <laughs> mute that. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's some jelly beans, too. Okay. Yeah, jelly beans is good. Like, I'm yeah, sorry. You, got, you, had some, like you had some change in your pocket or something. Yeah. Yeah, I got a whole whole full of jelly beans. Yeah, I think Gauntlet to me though has a certain nostalgia because it's Atari game. But I mean, I like them both, and you can see the inspiration. If you like one, you're probably gonna like the other. Yeah, because they share the same lineage. Right. Tacky Packy um, and Tetris. You were saying was another good one that uh, similar. Might yeah, be. yeah. Um, now with that one again, I, I, I would have to pick Tetris overall. But compared to some of the other puzzle games that I've played, like. Uh, I know there's a lot of big fans of Super Puzzle Fighter 2 out there, and I think Tacky Packy blows it away. Like, not even close. Like, so I think the question really is, can a knockoff game be as good or better than the original one that it's that it's trying to emulate or that it took inspiration from? And I think the answer is yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. it can be. It certainly can. Yeah, it can be. And get us them good clones, them games that are like the, the ones that we want. If you can't get, you know... If you can't get the the Street Fighter, get a game that's just like Street Fighter. That's good, you know. Right. Seems logical to me. Well, and and when you think about the history of games, uh, video game industry, they were constantly somebody would come up with an idea, and then everyone else would go and rip it off and do something similar. I mean, that's just that. This isn't. That I is. Mean, 
I mean, it's just the way it goes. Yeah, once a space shooter caught on with Galaga and Space Invaders, look how many space shooters there are that are arcades. I don't want it to sound like we're just saying we're only going to get B class clone games on that because that's not the case. We got Double Dragon, Dragon Slayer, Burger Time, Elevator Action. These are arcade masterpieces. The R Type 1 and 2. I mean, yeah, so we definitely have, you know, some of those games, but. But that doesn't mean some of these uh, inspired games aren't just as good. So, aren't are what, what I think CT's playing around with the stuff in the background. <laughs> I mean, some jelly beans, shoot! I told you, I got a whole handful of jelly beans. Uh, <laughs> well, gotta get guys, up some sugar. Gotta get up some sugar so we can dance. Yeah, the show's lasting long. Stop putting up my salad. I ain't eating the jelly beans and dish. <laughs> <laughs> we had can we show this one we got this one more thing that we uh do i i, I think we got time like to show um brad's very very first video you want you want to explain this this is the very first video you did for youtube right yeah why did you do this video brad why did you I make did this video because i arcade uh said if you did a video review they would send you Ro- the adventures of robbie roto which is a, a good game, uh, actually. classic <laughs> midway game um, made by the designer of Gorse. So I already knew all the history of the game and I've, I've even played it in some arcades. It's a very, it's kind of a rare game. So I already knew what I was getting. And I was like, uh, it kind of motivated me along with, you know, P dubs and a lot of YouTubers. I like to start a YouTube channel, but the cool part is when we watch this video, I want y'all can heckle it while it's on, please feel free. I used my phone, f- holding it the wrong direction. <clears throat> oh, no. Um, and okay. the very I first word I say, here. the very first word I say, and CT Jason's going to heckle me, is I, I, Arcadians. The very first oh, he word, said it wrong. The first word I said on YouTube. Oh, my camera looks good. Look at this. All right. Yeah, you look at me in high definition. Am I in 4K? Remember to uh, unmute your mics. Feel free to heckle it because it's my first video ever. I, I Arcadians. This is Brad O'Connell, and I'm just oh, here to do a review the game Dark Team Two for the I, I the Arcade. Camera. Let me tell you a little bit about service game announcement. Made by Data East. It was made in 1992. I see a reflection. It's sequel to Dark Seal, which is nice also hat. on I, I Arcade. He's got his I Arcade shirt um, on too. You're gonna love this game if Dude, you like I love games like Golden Axe, if you like good Dungeons job. and Dragons. This game is for you. We put in some coins. Let's point it up. Went under the name covers. Wizard Fire as well. Um, Data East game. You can see 1992 on this beautiful IRK Dragon cabinet. Quality has gone up a little power. bit, I think. A little okay, bit. Okay, and we're ready. Let's let me just show a little bit of the gameplay. Um, this just goes to show you guys, with the Dungeons and Dragons to make a video like this. Capcom you or Golden Axe. No. Um, you're gonna feel right at home in this game. This game is uh, really familiar. To start off, you got five different kinds of characters you can choose. There's a lot of variations. Um, let's start going with the, uh, the wizard. Okay. This I really is, uh, like this game. Out when, uh, I love the, this game. Uh, it's a hidden gem for me. Sounds were coming yeah. out because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of speech and stuff in it. I don't know if it's got this game. Great sound. The CD-ROM sounds are great. It's so great. 1992 Dungeons and Dragons kind of uh, cutscene speech with the speech. I think it's awesome. Yeah, the, 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 the music on it is, is very awesome. fun to watch, though. Yeah, this is a cool one to crank up okay, the volume. Perspective like this. I'm closer than that. Of course, we're playing with one hand. This is very difficult. Look at the dragon just like two. randomly flies but over you. you basically, so cool. Yeah, attacks. Sweet as sideways. Goodness. It's just so good. It is a good game. I like the one, the guy that swings around the, the big the ball mace. Yeah, the yeah. ball and chain. That guy's badass. The wizard's good too. Yeah. Magic attack. You are getting some crazy with one hand. That's a good point. He's got a one hand. He hasn't played it with his arms. I didn't know what I was doing. I'm going to try it. 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 I'm going
It's not expensive. Very good game for the for just a couple of bucks. You can have an excellent Dungeons and Dragons kind of game. Um, and this is Dark CO2. Free run, they run it on. Okay, yeah. I, I, okay, Dark CO2, great game, pick it up. I, I, arcade! So, yeah, really? I, 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 arcade. But That's you know what? It was my love of I, arcade that helped me, motivate me to make my first video. So, I owe I, arcade constantly for being my very first video ever on YouTube. So, thanks, I, arcade. So oh, can I point this out? There are a lot of people talk about the that came with eleven packing games. There are fifteen games you can get on IRK for free. A lot of people don't know this. So there's the eleven packed in games. There's Robbie Roto, which you can do, and I still think Michael can. Can people still do that if they submit a a video like what we just watched there? Something. Yeah, I don't have Robbie Roto. How many videos have I done? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Send, yeah. It looks like Robbie Roto. It's a midway game. Done, it's, I think it's he's amazing game. It at this point. <laughs> um, but then you just e just email contact at iArcade and just send them a link and just be like, here, I put this out on YouTube, or just send them the video and they'll put it up on their channel. Of and, and then they'll send you and then they'll send you Robbie Roto for free. Um, or we gonna say that? We gonna or say send the video to us and we'll put it on the Iarcadians show. We'll play it here and then Michael will send you the game for free. How about that? Oh, yeah, we would love Where's to work with some people with some games. No so send us we the video. We would love to do that. We'll post it up for you. Um, so that's another game you can get. There's two more. There's Azura Blast. Is that what it's called? And there's like a tank game or something. Okay, I don't even know. I don't have those two. Robbie don't Roto. Forget the Robbie Roto. I think winner. you can only get those from the box, arcade yeah. zone. From the arcade zone. So. I just downloaded that today. Yeah. This so anyway, so that's comment. fifteen Look, different we got games. A console fanboy says One Up doesn't even give you fifteen games on a cab that you pay yeah. for. There yeah, you go. True. Oh, oh yeah. The uh, the other one that doesn't come built in. No, that's more than fifteen then, because there's Thibblerin, and there's Lupin. Yeah. Yeah, Loop, looping, looping, you know, looping which will make don't even bother you'll rage, sucks, you'll rage. Like <laughs> most average people, I mean, it is so hard. Like I get into the pipes. Like it took me like, but you can figure it out. But it's yeah, unlike yeah, Truxton, yeah. that's like really hard. But like it's rewarding to pass it. Looping is like just so hard. It's like it's not. I'm even gonna just, take so much crap now because I just said that that game sucks. And like I, last time yeah, I said that, haven't you learned your lesson? I guess not. Lupin's Lupin's a horrible game. Don't get that one. But but the other one, Fibblerin, is actually very good. I, I Fibblerin is is pretty fun, and it, you almost have to go onto like there's a Steam page where you can go on there and see some like kind of dinky weirdo maps for it uh, to move around. But it's, it's like it's like a Metroid thing. It's a it's a hidden gem, and it's free. So there's so there's so so what is that? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, so sixteen games. Did I, did I count that right? box. And the jukebox. Look, it's all it's all packed in all these free games that you can get. We need to like make a video just talking about how you can get all these free games. Like, I don't even know. I need to talk to Gunther. I can be whole up those other two because I, I got two more. I still don't even have that. I just need to talk to Gunther and see what I need to do. But that's another. That's a whole for a whole another. Yeah, topic. A, lot, a lot of people forget Gumbird is a pack-in game too, and it's a great shooter. I, I yeah. I'm, I'm still waiting on my Robbie Roto. <laughs> Michael, can, can we get Mikey Dix and Robbie Roto? And you know what, Mikey? Robbie Roto. I want Roto, Roto, Roto too. Yeah. Give it up. Adventures of I don't know. Roto have you guys fun. done any kind of I arcade videos? You gotta earn it, you know. Uh, I think I posted yeah. one today. The creator of Gorf designed that game. I have a feeling it's just gonna show up on your system here in the next yeah. 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Uh anyway. Well, guys, what do you guys got going on this week? Oh. I was I do want to point this out. So before we close out, before I forget to mention this, we're actually going to change make a, a small change to our show. We got summertime coming up. We got board game groups starting up. We got yard work coming up. We're going camping. We're doing stuff with families. It it gets busy now. If you guys haven't noticed, we do a lot of pre-recorded stuff for this show. Yeah, that takes we time. we work on the show literally all week long to put on the show. Yeah, the segments, so it's, it's a lot and of work. planning, and the pre-meeting. The show is the easy part. That shows the fun part. The show is the know? fun part. Yeah, the so, yeah. Showing all of this off and talking with it. This is the fun part. This is uh, the easy part. But planning all this stuff, it takes time, and uh, so we try to put out like a it. higher quality than not. Not that other shows out there are not good, 
but we try and, and make it a, a different production level of, of this show and i hope that that shows but it is difficult to do that on a weekly basis when things are starting to pick up for the summertime and stuff so we're actually going to change over to doing it every other week for uh, at least for the summertime this yeah. could change um, but while the weather's nice and stuff, we're going to do this every other week. So next week, there won't actually nice. be any Arcadians. But well, let me look at the calendar. So come back on the 7th. That'll be our next show. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. Get your notification bells. Make sure you're clicking the thumbs up down at the bottom, too. And, and, uh, yeah. and I want to add, uh, because we're doing this, guys, if there is some breaking IRK news. Yeah, we can always do a special or, edition yeah, we're, show we're, anytime. We're going to jump on and cover yeah. any, anything that's important and needs to be covered. You know, we're just we're, we're just trying to give ourselves a little bit more flexibility and leeway. And, you know, it's still because, I mean, one of the options that I presented to the team was, you know, maybe lowering the quality of the show a little bit. And, yeah, no, we're not doing that. Yeah. You know, and so th th this was this is our this is our compromise. So. Well, let's see what happens in my life and work out like that. And I might just go live next week anyway. I don't know. You We're going to see. Hands on the controls. You never know. So I Michael says, anytime I want. I'll go live CT tomorrow. Those extra games. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah, CT can go live at any time now. He, he's got keys to the front door. You see that? <laughs> of the lair. Of the, <laughs> <I can't laughs> the lair. What was that? <laughs> He's coming after you, Michael, if you don't release the Azure Blaster. I'll see you tomorrow. Roto, that tank game. Yeah. He's coming for Robbie Roto is what he's coming for. So, yeah, so Michael, the, I think I saw that in the chat that you guys are going to make it available for us to, to purchase these other games somehow because a lot of people don't have these other games and they would like to. Um, and they're there. Um. Let's see. Don't forget, Slurpee should be free on 7 Eleven. <laughs> That's oh, actually my dad's birthday. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. All right. Tim's Tiny Arcade says, Thanks for the great show, guys. Anything else going on this week? I know I'm going to be going live right after this. I'm going to take a quick potty break in about 15 minutes. I'm going to go on live talking about the Amico. Not really related to Arcade necessarily, but I got called out by Bill Checo, so I got to respond. So tune in for that. What else is going on this week, dude? Oh wait, um, yeah, I'm doing this little gimmick too, this thing. <clears throat> oh yes, that's if you up, can't wait, there's that. two great videos already up. There's uh, Detroit Love, and um, actually Glenn has doing the mod too. But I'm gonna do the mod, get into it, see what it's like. I'll do a review and I'll give you my opinion. But uh, you know, these restrictor gates are really cool. Um, be sure to you know check it out. CT Jason, I know, just did a hilarious review on oh my god, the Ridge Racer, Racer cabinet, right? The Ridge Racer, yeah. Oh, I got a couple out. reviews coming up. Yeah. I'm gonna do yeah. the, the KI yeah. like, Cab, my part that Marvel Pinball. I got a lot. I'm gonna say about the reviews on that later this week. That's right. it. That's it. Mikey's, Mikey's got a Lego show coming yeah. this week, right? The Brick Chat at uh, Sundays, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it'll be 2 Central, 1 Mountain, and noon Pacific Sunday. That's going to be our, our slot we're going in. And like I said earlier, uh, the missus is putting in a ton of legwork. I'm, I'm super excited. She's got a review coming up on it that she did 100% herself. Like, she, I don't even think she asked for my advice or anything. She just did it all on her own. Right on. I think that pretty much covers everything. Um, I Oh, I did want to mention this too. I'm actually not going to be moderating on the community forums anymore. So I, I wanted to mention that that's just taking up so much of my time. And I think, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this or not, but I believe they're actually going to be hiring at iArcade a social media person that's going to be handling that as well as some other stuff. So that's going to be pretty cool. We'll have a new face to, to communicate with over at iArcade. So I'm excited about that. I'm actually excited to have a little bit more of my time back. Cause that was taking up a lot of time. So, uh, so that's going to be happening as well. Um, so I'm pretty excited. I think there's a lot of stuff coming up and we'll have our, our next show on the seventh. So no show from us next week. Unless, unless something big. Unless happens. we change my mind. Unless we change our mind. There you go. CT could go live. CT takeover. Be on the lookout for those. It's I, right. I, and you might can happen, might not. We'll you see. Can expect, uh, 
As far as the daily uploads, I don't know if anybody's been paying attention, but I haven't uploaded anything the last couple of days. Um, and then, but I'm still going to be doing all the all the segments, but I don't think it's going to be daily anymore. It's going to be more, you know, three, four times a week kind of a thing. But st- stay tuned for those. So all the segments will still be coming Which up. Which makes like sense because we're only going to have a show every two weeks. So yeah, that makes sense. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody. Check out the merch store. And make sure you subscribe to all of our channels. Give us a thumbs up on the way out. I'll be going live in about 10 minutes. So everybody go get some nachos. Have a party. Right, we need some music for that clip. <laughs> I'll hook it up. <laughs> all, all right, right, folks. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, we got the iArcadia's merch store. If you want to take a little piece of the show with you, you can get it right here. Enjoy. Next week for the takeover. Well, the South. I'll see you then. This is singing a song. Canadians will return.